Mother Rasulullah من يهدي فلن تجد له ولا وعصلي الأنبياء ولا آله وسهل تسليما كثيرا أما بعد أيها الأحب فأوسيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله عز وجل فإنها وسية الأولين والآخرين قال تعالى وَلَكَدْ وَسَّيْنَا الَّذِينَ عُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ وَإِيَّاكُمْ أَنِ اتَّقُوا اللَّهِ ويقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم اتق الله هيث ما كنت وأتبع السيئة حسنة تمعها وخالق الناس بخلق حسن بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن الكريم أقول ما تسمعون وأستغفر الله لي ولكم والاسفور الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وسلم تسليما كثيرا All praise is due to Allah We praise him We seek help from him We ask for forgiveness from him And we repent to him We seek refuge in him from our own evil And from our bad deeds We ask guidance from Allah for anyone who is guided by Allah, he is indeed guided. And anyone who is left astray by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will find no one to guide him. I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship and praise except Allah alone. He has no partners. I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah, best and sisters, finish all of us to be conscious of our duty and be guided with life for the people of spoke to say that it is still relevant in temporary times. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ وَسَّيْنَ الَّذِينَ عُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ Indeed, we had admonished the people of the past or the past generation. وَإِيَّاكُمْ And then your generation, 
and it took Allah that they should fear Allah or they should be God conscious. Prophet Muhammad <laughs> gave true meaning to the fear of Allah and said that you must fear Allah wherever you find yourself at any point in time. And bad deeds usually <clears throat> brings your level of God consciousness low or it reduces it and the prophet gave key solution to that and said you must always follow your bad deeds with good ones it will wipe away the bad ones and how to do it is to show excellent morals our character or good relationship with fellow human beings. I was called on short notice. The Imam leading prayer today had travel because I had done mine last week. But you remember last week we started a very important message. James, we must all. And I remember in my Hutbah books called the Fist Islam. But an Arab philosopher came back to his native country, but I didn't see Islam. His name is Everyday Islam in our areas. An Imam who was speaking to an eight year old question that if this young girl had something under her sleeve. Imam was. She raised the hand like shyly, sir, what should I say? You know how I'm not a terrorist, then I walk. What is the best answer? You are not a terrorist. You are not the same. Never be the same. And giving tax, characteristics of this, uh, in our car. Those two questions or three and said, abusive. Do we have to lose our temper? Violence. If we return insult with insult, so let me swear the beginning or the introduction, but having been given another. That had given believing people. وَأَبْشِرُوا بِالْجَنَّةِ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ تُوَعَدُونَ إِنُّوا أَوْلِيَاءُكُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِ أَنفُسَ مَا تَدَّعُونَ نُزُلًا مِنْ غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ When you go home, these verses, before you get to وَمَنْ أَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمَنْ Who is better in speech than the one who invites to Allah and then does good deeds وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ And say, I am a Muslim. Now, after this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, وَلَا تَسْتَوِ الْحَسَنَةُ وَلَا السَّيَّةُ Good deeds and bad deeds are not equal. Repeal evil by that which is better. And therefore your enemy will become your devoted friend. But no one is granted those who are patient and accept those who are counted among the lucky ones. In doing this, you would be fighting against your soul. Shaitan will be fighting against your soul. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِمَّا يَنْذَغَنَّكَ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ نَذْفَ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ And the weapon with which you can defeat this attitude is if there comes to you from shaitan an evil suggestion then seek refuge in Allah by saying أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ That is why whenever we feel an evil inclination we should always say, 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. My brothers and sisters in Islam, when rudeness is met with unexpected kindness, it immediately changes the paradigm. The one who insults you think he is in control. He wants to provoke you, but your courtesy and dignity throws him off balance. Many of Islam's enemies were conquered by Muslims, not by sword, but through their kindness. Allah has the keys to all hearts. And if you obey Allah and follow his, the footsteps of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then you would also be guided. Last week, I reported that Ummu Salma reported that one of the powerful prayers of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, of which he had been reciting every day, is Allahumma ya muqallab al-kulub, thabbit qalbi ala dini. O oh, the tenor of hearts, Allah, please turn our hearts towards your obedience. My brothers and sisters in Islam, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never complained about what his bitterest enemies did to him. But he just quietly cleared it away. But once upon a time, enemies of Muslims and enemies of Prophet Muhammad. Khalid ibn Walid and Amr ibn As fought against Muslims in the battle. But kindness brought them to the fold. And if you personally, when someone insults you, it is because you are just then ignorant. The Prophet says, smile and ask me. Ask what they feel, why they are feeling hungry. Don't become defensive and don't retaliate. Keep your dignity, keep your courtesy, your good manners and sense of humor as a Muslim should be part and of the sunnah we have learned from our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My brothers and sisters in Islam, to end my khutbah today, I must say that Muslims across the globe over the time have witnessed a lot of injustice. We are mourning a lot of Muslims who lost their lives in New Zealand. But one may not understand that the blood of these Muslims, young and old, male and female, there is no justification for that. But even in difficult times, if you are patient, something beneficial will come out of the difficult situation. All over the world, people are being killed for no apparent reason. And in Ghana today, some of the things that happen, you don't even understand. Snatching somebody's child, one year old, daylight. I read about two young pe pe persons went to an innocent mobile money vendor 
poured acid on her face just to run away with some few cities. There is something wrong with our moral fiber. And that is why I said, as leaders, as parliamentarians, you need to factor some of these things and try not to do only politics and also try to impact some morality in the young people. And not only political position about Islam play any role in winning you a seat. But Muslim didn't. The religion expects to do something to benefit. Not the least. Is it by accident? When they are arrested, they bear names like Musa, Abbas. Are they really Muslims? They have adopted those names. What are we doing collectively as Muslims we to make sure our address? Many people think that Islam conquered the world through swords. And even a lot of Muslims have this wrong perception. But that is not true. 23 years after the death of the Prophet Wasallam. Islam has gone everywhere, east, west, everywhere. There is a book I read that suggests to me that even places like Niger, some of the Sahaba came there. Look at Jazeera al Arabia, the Arab Peninsula, Makkah. Some of the Sahaba came as far as Africa here in Niger. I read something like that. They were not holding even go that far. Islam in Western Sudan. And you know how Islam to us. Their weapon was their character. All of us to be bold as Muslims to exhibit Islam in our lives. Now that people are not asking what is Islam, but they are rather asking where is Islam. So when we meet each other, like Sweeney asked me the last time, where is Islam? We should also, I will meet him one day and ask him, uh, we should also be asking each other. My main concern, honorable members, I said last week I told you, this khutbah, I dedicated it to you. I have worked with some parliamentarians and I know how influential a parliamentarian can be. Children, the youth, Muslim youth, should be our paramount concern. التعليم في السجر النقش على الحجر التعليم somebody doesn't even understand that that is what we find minds say that move anything religious from our curriculum continue the situation and uh, throughout New Zealand none must
So it means non-Muslims. If we want to get them in our force. Our city. Here. On the Iraqi given word. A profound doubt. Around a brief. There is a mox there, Juma. Now, if you go there, the mox is actually dying. Who cares? And I believe most of you are, and you know. There is not be Rabu Montaka, I know, yes. but you have been more good. Say that we have come to talk about law, uh, honorable uh, who the imams won't be. And that day, I will invite some of you to people to speak to the chief of the and then goodness in doing things or have mercy on us. Let's pray the leadership of this house uh, because anytime I go on Facebook that I'm coming here to lie, it's not. إن الله وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله